Hey guys, we are here in Fort Canning Hill, previously known as Bukid Larangan and Government Hill. It is a 156 feet high and located in Singapore. It has been a landmark since Singapore's earliest recorded history. Prior to 1822, Fort Canning Hill was known as Bukid Larangan, meaning Forbidden Hill, where Asian kings were believed to be buried. The early colonials found sandstone, foundation blocks dating back to the 14th century, marking a large palatial building along its slope. It is known to be the resting place of the last king, Iskandar Shah. The site was considered holy and many made their annual pilgrimage there. Major William Farquhar had to climb up the hill himself, accompanied only by a few Malaccan Malays, soon after the founding of Singapore. It was Farquhar who threw up the first gun on the hill and set up the post to hoist the Union Jack. A spring on the southwest side of the hill served as a watering hole for ships anchored at the harbor. It was also believed to be the bathing place of Malayan princesses in ancient times. The hill was rich with Chinese and ancient Malay artifacts even then. In November 1822, a resident was built for Raffles and his sister's family on the hill. It was a wooden bungalow with Venetians and a top roof. It had two parallel halls with verandas at both sides, front and back, and two square wings that served as sleeping quarters. Raffles enjoyed the location so much that he suggested to be buried here, mixed with the ashes of the Malayan kings. His home was later renamed Government House. The first botanic gardens, extending across 19 hectares, also began experimentally along the slopes of the hill. A flagstaff on the summit announced the arrival of ships. Submersions eager to do business could quickly make their way to the harbor. A time ball was dropped from the yard arm of the staff between 9 and 10 a.m. daily. With the completion of the government house in 1822, the hill became known as Government Hill or Singapore Hill. To the Malays, however, it was Bukit Tuan Bonham, Sir Bonham's Hill, after Sir Samuel George Bonham, who was governor from 1836 to 1848, or Bukit Bendera, Flag Hill. A sun dial was sighted at the original location of the government house which was demolished in 1859 to make way for a fort. So while we're there, we follow the trail of Singapore's colonial history walking trail. Fort Canning Center Fort Canning Center was originally constructed in 1926 as a British Army barracks. Today, it has been restored to the House of National Parks and Visitor Centers. 9-pound cannon and South Battery This cannon dates back to the 19th century and had become obsolete before the fortification at Fort Canning was constructed. Government House and Fort Canning Sir Stamford Raffles built the first official government mansion near this spot in 1822. John Crawford and subsequent residents later enlarged the house. Raffles House this is the site on which Sir Stanford Raffles built his bungalow for the beautiful view it commanded. It was also the place of residence for a long line of governors. Heritage Tree Another heritage tree in the fort. It has a spreading canopy with fine leaves. The beautiful scarlet flowers when in bloom may cover the entire crown and can last for weeks on the tree. Lighthouse this lighthouse is a small replica of the original that used to stand at Fort Canning Hill. The lighthouse is Singapore's most prominent landmarks for ships entering the harbor. Flagstaff This is another replica of the original flagstaff in the hill. The flagstaff provided pertinent information on the arrival, identity, location, and status of ships entering Singapore Harbor. Fort Gate and Remnants of Fort Wall these are the only remnants of the fortress that once occupied Fort Canning Hill from 1861 to 1926. The fort served two purposes, to 
protect Singapore from attack by sea and to give Singapore's European population a refuge in an event of local disturbances. Hotel of Fort Canning Built by the British in the 1920s, this building was headquarters for the Far East Command and the office of Lieutenant General Percival. This building has been beautifully restored and now stands as the legends of Fort Canning Park and Hotel. Battle Box The battle box constructed in 1936 was to be used in the event of a war as a nerve center of British military operations in Southeast Asia. Situated 9 meters beneath Fort Canning Hill, it was the site where Lt. General Percival, General Officer Commanding Malaya Command, made a fateful decision to surrender Singapore to the Japanese on February 15, 1942. It has a guided tour which we took, but photography and videos are not allowed inside the battle box. Sally Port, a small door leading in and out of the fort. First Christian Cemetery This burial ground was used from 1822 to 1865. George Coleman, an influential figure in the development of Singapore's infrastructure, was the person who oversaw the works of this cemetery. Memorial to James Brooke Napier This Gothic structure was built in memory of the infant son of William Napier and Maria Frances Napier, the widow of George Coleman, the architect. The memorial, the largest erected in Government Hill Cemetery, reflects the status of the boy's father, who became Singapore's first law agent in 1833. Cupolas This cupolas designed by Coleman himself are two dome-shaped shelters most probably meant as places of rest and contemplation on the hill. Spice Garden A small replica of the original garden Raffles established in 1822 on Government Hill as the first experimental and botanical garden in Singapore. I hope you guys enjoy our historical walk along the Fort Canning Park. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. Till next time, bye!